Good evening London, let me apologize first. Like many of you, I appreciate the comfort of a measured daily life, the security of familiar surroundings, it pleases me as much as it pleases you, but it commemorates important events of the past that are usually associated with someone's death, or the end of a bloody struggle and celebrated as a popular holiday. I ask you to honor the day of November 5th a day that has sadly faded into oblivion, by taking some time out of your daily life for a little conversation. There are some people who don't want us to talk, orders have already been issued to tap your phones, and if anything happens, armed men will come to you immediately. Why? Because communication can be used for conversation, and words have always had tremendous power. Words are the means and the meaning, and to those who hear, they proclaim the truth. And the truth is, there is something deeply wrong with this country. Cruelty and injustice, oppression and pressure. We have the opportunity to protest, we can speak out. But there is censorship and a surveillance system that forces you to submit and live by the rules. How did this happen? Who is responsible for everything? Of course, there are those who carry a greater burden of guilt and they will be called to account. But the truth is, if you're looking for someone to blame, all you have to do is look in the mirror. I know why you didn't say anything. I know you were scared. It's natural. Wars, terror, disease, millions of secret conspiracies that corrupt the mind, that deprive you of common sense. You were bound by fear. And in your panic, you turned to High Chancellor Adam Stadler. He promised you order and peace, but all he wanted in return was your silent submission. 400 years ago, our great citizen immortalized the date of November 5th. He wanted to remind the world, that honesty, justice and freedom are not just words, they are perspectives. Let's celebrate November 5th. FBI, open up!